are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrants for Black and White Sports. Let's talk about Democrat Tulsi Gabbard. Yeah, she introduced a bill, a Democrat did, believe it or not, to keep sports from going more woke. A Democrat did. Unfortunately, she's on her way out because it seems she might be the only one that's got any sense because she also made a statement involving identity politics that we're going to talk about. As we know, college football is dealing with identity politics. It's all over sports. Uh, yesterday, the media celebrated an extra point made by Sarah Fuller. Good God, give her a cookie. We celebrated an extra point because somebody had a vagina on the field with men. By the way, uh, I looked at the tape. Nobody rushed her during that extra, that extra point. Nobody came after her at all. So it was clear She altered the game. She altered the game while it was going on just because she was a woman. That's not the way sports is supposed to be played. Now, Tulsi has introduced a bill. It would be a bill that would bar transgender athletes from women's sports. A valid, valid bill to be introducing. And uh, there's different reasons why, and we'll talk about that. Representative Tulsi Gabbard of Hawaii introduced a bill on Thursday that would specify that Title IX protections are applied based on a person's biological sex, meaning transgender athletes who were determined to be males at birth would be barred from participating in women's sports. The Bipartisan Protect Women's Sports Act which was co-sponsored by Representative Mark Wayne Mullen of Re- uh, Republican of Oklahoma, would prevent federally funded institutions from permitting a person whose biological sex is male to participate in an athletic program or activity that is designated for women or girls. Quote, this bill protects the sex-based intention of Title IX, protections by reaffirming the biological sex-based Distinctions between a a man and a woman in athletics. Gabbard said that Title IX is being weakened by some states who are misinterpreting Title IX, creating uncertainty, undue hardship, lost opportunities for female athletes. Yeah, they're taking away potential scholarships, et cetera, et cetera. This is all the fallout. You can potentially remove a scholarship from a deserving woman or girl And give it to a man. Let's be honest. Give it to a man. Okay. She explained that her bill protects the original intent of Title IX, which was passed as part of the education amendments of 1972. Title IX was designed to give women and girls an equal chance to succeed in sports, allowing biological males to compete in women's sports diminishes that equality. The NCAA currently allows transgender women to participate in women's sports. But Sports Illustrated notes that various branches of the government have made moves to stop them from doing so. And uh, also, some Republicans have introduced a bill. Tom Cotton is one of them uh, that is kind of similar to to Tulsi's bill. Now, here's the thing. You knew this was going to happen. The ultra-woke progressive part of the Democratic Party the squad, the nutcases, they want that identity politics. They want it as woke as possible. So they started attacking Tulsi, right? They're calling her transphobic, by the way. And uh, this is basically what happened. She fired back. Uh, they actually called her more than transphobic. If you want to know the truth, I'll tell you. Uh, Democratic Representative Tulsi Gabbard hit back at critics. She introduced a legislation to prevent transgender women from competing in female sports. A number of people called Gabbard, who is leaving Congress this month, transphobic, 
And some even called her a right-wing shitheel on Twitter. I hope she decides to come back and run as a Republican. I'd laugh my ass off. She said, I welcome real criticism and real debate. But my so-called issues, uh, my so-called critics don't want to debate these issues. They want to just engage in smears and slurs and name-calling. Well, that's that, the woke left, that is their trademark. They don't want to debate anything. And I'm going to give you an example of something from somebody I know personally. Now, this is what she also said. Gabbard, who decided to leave Congress last year to focus on her presidential bid, said she is maximizing the time she has left in office and says she fears for the U.S. Quote, identity politics is having an incredibly destructive effect on our country. Rather than recognizing what connects all Americans, she is 100% right. It's being done to help people and parties get in power and stay in power by pitting individual Americans against each other. Yeah, absolutely. That is absolutely accurate. Uh, now, and they go on to talk about um, uh, an LGBTQ activist uh, called her blatantly transphobic. And she come back and said, look, they're using trans people as bargaining chips. And they are. They do it, they do it to black Americans all the time, right? They, the left has tokenized black Americans and used them to gain political strength, period. They could give a less than a shit about any black American. They don't care what happens to black American, Americans as long as they stand on the, stay on the plantation. Same thing with transgender. Same thing. Now, I'm going to tell you, I've got a very highly conservative lesbian friend. And she'll tell you she doesn't subscribe to any of the letters. Okay? And she said she's got friends that are irate with her over that. But the fact is, she put it this way. You are either born a man or you are born a woman. Okay? You, you don't get to change that. You do not. It's her belief you do not. She says, I just happen to be a woman that digs chicks, but I'm still a woman. So that tells you right there, that's not, <laughs> not all views are exactly the same. And look, this is a safety issue. It should be a safety issue with Sarah Fuller. She's out on the field with young men. She can get hurt. She shouldn't be out there. And it's altering the way the guys are having to play the game where competitiveness should be the number one priority. It should be the number one priority. I love the fact that Tulsi recognizes that identity politics is ruining this country. Absolute fact. Uh, we, got a, we got a moderate Democrat that's now leaving. I mean, go figure. She sounds more, Repu she sounds more Republican than some of our Republicans we have. Right now in office, Republicans in name only. Okay. Now, you have an issue with safety. You have an issue with genetic makeup. The fact is that male can call himself a female all he wants, but when he gets into a physical activity, his bone structure is different. He's going to be more physical, and he's going to potentially get girls and women hurt. Look, if I was a father... I wouldn't want a transgender male on, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want, I don't know if it's male or female, and I don't really give a fuck either. Look, I wouldn't want them on the field with my, with my daughters, okay? I wouldn't, because he would, he would subject to hurt them in physical activity like basketball, female hockey, all these different sports. And look, he can knock her head completely off. Let's be honest. There is a genetic difference there. And I'm sorry if the woke left don't want to recognize that. But at the end of the day, it is. If you peel back all the layers, it's simply a safety issue. It is a safety issue. And let's be honest, there's a physical, true competitive advantage. And these guys want to do this, get out on get out on the field, on the court, wherever they are, in competition with women, you're cheating. You are cheating. You can win that event, and I don't know more recognize you as a winner than anything. 
because you are a man that just beat a woman in a woman's sport. Boy, you're brave and stunning now, aren't you? Tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. I applaud a Democrat, Tulsi Gabbard, for trying to keep some kind of integrity in sports. The fact is, look, the NC2A should pass a policy preventing women from crossing over to men's sports. Again, we've got a safety issue. we got a competitive issue. When it starts altering the game, it needs to stay the hell out of it. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.